Yeah. So we're only minutes away from the start now. And the Americans look to be uh, on the front of the line there, the Slovenians, who uh, might uh, just provide us with a winner as well. It's extremely open, as you uh, can probably appreciate. There's the Australians back uh, about 20 metres or so from the front. Who will jump away first? There's got to be some sort of a, a breakaway early on, you would think. Michael Matthews, they're going to ride for him, they say. And what about uh, our silver medalist in the time trial, Lee? Uh, Luke Durbridge, uh, Turbo Durbo. How must he be feeling? That uh, sums him up in two words. He's an unbelievable <laughs> athlete. And he's, he's still so young. I mean, he's only second year. He's, what, 18 years old or just turned 19. And... Oh, his power is incredible, absolutely incredible. And in a couple of years to come, he's uh, once he gets a bit more race experience, he's going to be unbelievable. Is he going to have something left to help his teammates today? Yeah, well, he's the sort of guy, because he hasn't done as much road racing, um, experience is going to play a big part here. And if he can hold himself back, which I'm sure the coaches have told him to do, here we go, could be a, a real key asset for Michael Matthews in the finish. There's some very nervous young faces faces of the future and names of the future and of course a couple of the past as they are the sons um, or have surnames of some very famous previous professional cyclists rolling off. Let's uh, hope that uh, the guys get round okay. We've got a few corners around the course and of course that bridge coming off a very fast ascent. This is going to be the first time now we've seen a mass start and a big, la a big bunch or peloton coming down that descent to the chicane and across the uh, the rainbow bridge and we did see uh, Fabian Cancellara yesterday almost hit the barriers as he uh, went into that to chicane luckily he didn't crash but then of course in the under 23 men's time trial the Danish rider Quad actually did crash into the barriers so he's got another go at it today to see if he can uh, get over the bridge <laughs> Let's see. yeah well he he didn't do a very good job on his own now he's out there with a whole bunch of riders you've got uh, 122 riders or 121 that he has to try and get round that bridge and chicane with. Let's hope that uh, they all do it. Now, I know the guys will be very nervous and uh, the guys that... It's a little bit different to the professionals and the, the elite riders that we'll see on Sunday. These guys are a little bit more desperate, you could say, um, which makes the race perhaps a tad more dangerous. Yeah, a bit more dangerous, but I think in some ways it's more exciting to watch, you know, because they've only got six, I think, six riders yeah, maximum. Yeah, that's the maximum for the big yeah. teams, yeah. So it's a lot harder for, for a team to control a race, whereas on the, the elite men, up to nine riders, you can let a few riders go off the front. It's not such a big panic. And uh, you can get a whole country or a whole team together and bring it back quite comfortably.